In the mid-80s, the NSA wanted widespread secure defense office phones. Unfortunately, the best available was the large and expensive Stu-2 system. So the NSA envisioned a lower cost system that could be more widely deployed. This system was dubbed the Low Cost Terminal, abbreviated LCT, and created the Stu-3 ecosystem. Additionally, LCT was to use a sort of early smart card called a Crypto Ignition Key, or CIK. This key was primarily used to authorize access to the system, but also a few administrative tasks like loading keys. The device a CIK mates with is known as a keyceptacle. There are several versions of the CIK. The original version is known as the KSD64, which I believe was created as the KSD64A. There are also variants such as the PKA64, PK64KC, and PKA64KC. These look roughly the same but have different head shapes and internals. Finally, the original parallel memory CIK was superseded by a shorter serial version as the SFK series. With that as background, here is a Motorola Sectel 9600. It's a Type 4 encryption device intended for commercial use that requires CIKs. Encryption devices are out of scope for this video, but I may make a Type 4 phone ecosystem video in the future. Anyway, CIKs are hard to come by, and I needed a few more to make a good project progress. So I looked at making reproduction CIKs. I started by making measurements and 3D printing mechanical reproductions. This came out fairly well and turned reasonably smoothly in the keyceptacle. Next, I needed to understand the electrical component. Some national stock number searching revealed that they are likely 2864 EE proms. While both AMD and Zycor were official parts, only the AMD parts were easy to get. Now with a strong lead on the internals, I looked at Crypto Museum's x-rays to make a preliminary pinout guess. I then took apart my PKS703 and attached a logic analyzer to refine connections. This gave me enough confidence to fabricate an electrically compatible PCB. A bare PCB does not easily slot in, but with a little jiggling I was able to get it to fit. Unfortunately, it didn't work. After a little debugging, I discovered I swapped two pins and it came to life. Next, I 3D printed a sleeve to go around the PCB. This was a bit tricky due to removing the extensively blocked support material, so the initial version removed the teeth from the side. However, eventually I was able to get the model to fit together. The completed key is now significantly easier to align and also prevents backwards insertion. Now that I know the pinout, I've considered shrinking the massive dip down to a smaller package like TSOP. This could make something the size of the original KSD64A by hiding the chip in the keyhead. It's also worth mentioning I found images of a few CIK Chotskys. First, the LCT mug you saw earlier. Second, a KSD64A challenge coin. I also have some Stu3 Chotskys and marketing material I'll cover in a future video. Finally, I'm looking for more information and hardware for this project. If you have phones, keys, documents, or even Chotskys, please reach out. Thank you for listening. Until next time.